Hey, Star Wars Action Fair Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time we have Captain Phasma from the Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch line 2015. A figure that many of us are excited for, to have, to get, uh, maybe even get more than one of her. Uh, she, yeah, she's just oh, so cool. I mean, you gotta love the silver armor and the cape. I mean, that's really just what distinguishes her. And there's some variation in the helmet. In, in the armor, of course, she's taller than the standard snow trooper. But just that little slight variation just make her so cool. So I'm very pumped to have this figure. Um, there's a little synopsis there. If you like to pause and read, she's number six. She comes in your standard Force Awakens packaging with the red trim. Let's go ahead and take her out. And here is Phasma out of the packaging. She is fantastic. It's amazing how much popularity this character has gained. You know, she is a souped-up stormtrooper, which what which was what basically Boba Fett was back in the day. So you know, she but she has enough variations from a first order stormtrooper that give her that wow factor. The silver metallic armor, the size of the character, and the actress who portrays Phasma, very tall and muscular. Um, got the cool cape, and you know, hangs to the side with the red trim. Uh, yeah, she just she screams just wow you know and and she is definitely sought after um character for collectors um you know she, her collectibles in disney elite this version the hasbro version they're going up for ridiculous prices she's a scalper's dream but she is popping up in retail she is popping up online so definitely wait do not pay ridiculous prices for her so let's go ahead and, and compare her to a first order stormtrooper um she definitely has almost a good i would say three fourths of an inch maybe up to an inch um, bigger, taller on this guy, and um, you know she has a little bit more width to her on the torso. Uh, the lower legs definitely have some variants, some uh, variations. You know here at the bottom, um, and around the waist area, definitely some differences. But the upper torso is very similar to our first order stormtrooper. Uh, she does have a sleeker helmet design; it's more of a sharp edge here, so that looks really good. And, um, you know, it's not a chrome finish that most of us would have liked to have seen, but the silver metallic paint definitely gives it a shininess. And there's a lot of great detail, a lot of great sculpting work on the armor. It looks fantastic. Um, paint applications are really good. Um, there are some cracks in the plastic, most notably here and there, but nothing major. And here's the back of the figure. Looks fantastic really does. The red paint on the cape was applied very cleanly and just some wonderful sculpting. There is a chip there but not a major deal. Uh, softer plastic, very nice. Some wonderful sculpting there. There's a little strap here that you know maybe use for a weapon or tie the cape together but you know you can remove the cape so but it hangs really nicely over her shoulder. So definitely very cool. Uh, here's the weapon, which doesn't necessarily scream Star Wars to me. It has a, kind of an olive green metallic color to it, but some nice detail. Some uh, black paint applications done well. And it has a peg that you can put onto this slot, just like the First Order Stormtrooper. So, only accessory that she comes with. And she does look pretty cool holding it with both hands. So, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the helmet. Just very nice. Very sleek design. You gotta love it. Black paint applied pretty well. Of course, it's non removable. We have no idea what Phasma looks like under the helmet. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. But, you know, a lot of mystery to this character right now. A lot of mystery to a lot of the characters in Star Wars Force Awakens. Cannot wait for the movie. So, she looks fantastic. Articulation you got your ball jointed head, the hinge, you got your ball hinge, shoulders. You do not have an upper. Uh, arm swivel, unfortunately. One hinged knee. You got the uh, the uh, ball hinged uh, wrists. You have a ball hinged torso. No swivel waist, which would have been awesome. You got your ball hinged hips. You got your uh, upper thigh swivel. You got the double hinged knees. You got hinged ankles with the rocker. So, um, you know, great articulation. It's been better in the past, but definitely some great articulation. You know, and uh, definitely a very cool figure. And she's definitely worth purchasing, worth getting in your Black Series 6-inch collection. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. And until next time, may the Force be with you.